Welcome everyone, Quastine here on Serious Gaming, bringing you guys a walkthrough of the good campaign for Battle for Middle Earth on the hard difficulty using the Elven Alliance community mod. It's something someone recommended to me. Um, and I checked it out and I'm quite happy with it for most part. I haven't played all that much with it to give you a firm opinion, but one thing I do like are the texture changes. I don't like how in the vanilla game, for instance, units look with heavy armor upgrades. This mod changes that uh, by quite a bit and I do like that change. We'll see how it plays out overall. Mordor is the land of the Dark Lord Sauron. He has dominion over this bleak and wasted landscape and all who enter it. Sauron wages war with all of Middle-earth. He must be stopped, or all shall fall into darkness. The hobbit Frodo Baggins now bears the ring, guarded by a fellowship drawn from all the free peoples of Middle-earth. The One Ring must be returned to Mount Doom and destroyed in the very fires of its creation. Okay, so you start the fellowship in Rivendell and you're gonna move to the mines of Moria. I guess I misspelled this in when I was talking about it in the evil campaign as Moira. The reason I did so is that Moira is actually a character in World of Warcraft. Oh. Which is actually a significant part of a story of a quest there, a long quest in the vanilla of World of Warcraft, so that's the reason. Um, you start off with the Fellowship, then you will gain control of Elmer's army here in Rohan, like um, Rohan, Westworld, and Eastern Rohan are Act 2 missions, Moria is Act 1 gain one power the fellowship is pretty powerful and some and quite a few of their missions are quite easy um, but you do want to level them up as much as possible because it's beneficial to you for uh, very beneficial to you in the long run later on in the campaign you'll gain control of farm here um, you also have a gondor army here in Asgiliath defending Asgiliath it's weaker than the army that the evil side faces, definitely, and there's no Gondorian army of 80 uh, soldiers, archers, and 40, 30, something like that, horsemen defending Minas Tirith. Uh, big Haradrim army, 180 evil men, 3 Mumakel, uh, 320 orcs, 20 trolls, 200 orcs, 10 trolls, uh, rune army, 60 evil men, 200 orcs, 360 orcs, 15 trolls here and two 10 siege engines 2500 orcs 100 trolls uh if you add um two zeros to it you get uh 250 um uh, 100 000, yeah 250 um not 100 000, no 250 000, uh, orcs yeah uh you have lords with his warwicks and his orcs and then you have two isengard armies one has siege engines um one thing this mod adds is like at helm's deep you will face more isengard siege engines um anyway let's begin right here moria okay i'm curious to see how it will change everything the mines of moria once proud city of the dwarves its ruined halls are now infested with vile goblins. Okay. Uh, one thing to note, I'm not going to be able to add it to the show right away, to the Battle for Middle-earth show um, right away. The reason behind that is um, the show shows are bugged right now. I can't add any episodes to any show, so I guess I'll create a temporary playlist for it. Um, anyway, Mo Moria. There's a lot of goblins, there's also the Balrog. I'm not afraid of spoiling stuff, to be honest, because really, who the fuck doesn't know the movie plot by this stage? I mean, who hasn't watched the Lord of the Rings movie, movies and is watching this walkthrough right here? You 
know, I have some problems with the Lord during these movies, but I watched The Hobbit recently and I have to say Jackson did a much better job adapting The Hobbit than he did The Lord of the Rings. And they call it a mine. A mine! This is no mine. It is a tomb. We have but one choice. We must face the darkness of Moria. Yeah, Group 1, Gandalf, Group 2, the melee heroes, Group 3, Legolas. Legolas is a killing machine. Group 4, the Hobbit, switch into rocks. Sam gains a new ability right here. Uh, also, also, I think they all get like new abilities, yeah. So he gets Knight of Rohan at level uh, at rank 6. Knight King Squire at rank 4, armor upgrade. Um, Service of the Sword, rank 4. Guardian of the Citadel, rank 6. It would have been nice to get like a damage upgrade, but I'll take what I can get. Um, frying pan. <laughs> Fun, right? Um, right with you, Sir Sand. Games 25% attack when near Frodo and Frodo, blah, blah, blah. Frodo has a random chance of not of taking no damage. Okay. The, uh, Sam and Frodo, they're also added to uh, the skirmish with this Elven Alliance mod. Carry the fate of us all. You know... Sam is not a hero you use in the campaign, but he is something you can use in Skirmish. You should so. never have come here. But to be fair, using making something for Skirmish is kind of stupid in my opinion. But hey, that's just my personal view on the matter. Be gone! Yeah, so I'm gonna kill all those Let's units with Aragorn. It might not turn out for the best, but we shall see. So that's a treasure. Um, it goes the same as it does in the evil campaign, as in you can only rank units one level per, per mission or one rank per mission until it slows down significantly. However, with these treasures, you can actually gain rank three if you use them properly. Now, what I'm gonna do here is give it to the one hero that's probably gonna have the hardest time what is ranking this? up. I hope it's something Gemini. to eat. No, Sam, it's not something you can the fucking eat. The wealth of Moria was not in gold or jewels. Okay. But Mithril. Mm-hmm. Aragorn goes ahead. Alone. And he'll gain most of the experience, I hope. I guess I should send Boromir to gain a bit of experience, I suppose. Boromir has knockback attack. They added that with a patch because he was useless otherwise. Be on your guard. There are older and fouler things than all. Uh, in skirmish, or well, specifically multiplayer. I did play quite a bit of the multiplayer here. Now the question is, yes, the mod does have Boromir still retaining his knockback attack, which is good. Aragorn is gonna score all the kills. Do not fear oh. them. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go ahead. Quiet. I'm gonna be saving quite a bit during this mission. It's not a case of a bit being a hard mission. I just want to get uh like all my heroes except Legolas and Hobbits. Um I want to get them to rank free, like the melee Hobbits heroes and Gandalf. Gandalf's probably gonna be easy, but because he can kill a lot of fucking units here. Okay, um, I'm just gonna yeah! send Aragorn right here. Protect the Hobbits! Here's the thing with Legolas, though. He has an insane range. Very big range. Okay. And he can kill hundreds of units. He's gonna be one of those units that gets the most kills, or the hero that gets the most kills in the campaign. Because of that very reason. Okay. Now, here's um, what I'm gonna do give it to Gimli right here. He's gonna be rank 3, he's gonna be, use, be able to use leap attack. Um, I 
think the vanilla with 1.0 could use leap attack from level 1. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. Don't remember. Or no, no, no. He would uh, just launch a leap attack at Balan's tomb. Anyway, waiting for Aragorn to um, heal himself. Heroes to regenerate HP when at rank 1. Ranks, levels, they're just the same thing, really. There is evil here that does not sleep. I am aware. Humans. More goblins! Mm-hmm. Well, Boromir, you're gonna be the one doing most of the killing this situation. He's doing fine, though he has problems with his attack. He can't f seem to follow through on his own. And my problem is that I'm trying to kite with Aragorn. Right here. Okay, Boromir is killing more of them. Come on. Just... You're a dumbass, really. Die, you miserable creature. I do not fear you. I do not fear you. Really, you don't. Your time is over. By the blood of Gondor. Here, over here. Hit them hard. Strike them down. This is the main problem with Boromir in the game right now. Is that he can't follow up on his attacks unless you specifically order him to. Okay. And for me, the problem is that I'm trying to kite with Aragorn and or the Boromir at the same fucking time. Okay. Now, this troll... Honestly, I don't care who kills it. It can be either Aragorn or Boromir or both. <laughs> if it's both, I'm actually happy. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use the two of them against the troll. Um, gonna use Aragorn. Eh, screw the archers. The annoying part is when the game... Tr Orders your hero to heroes to move your other heroes to move in um, the chamber chamber you're in as you progress. Also, as you progress through this particular mission, um, what will happen is that some areas will be locked down. You can't go back to them, so you can't you can't wait until heroes rank up to two all your and then go back for certain treasures like the initial starting treasure uh, right here. I think it was yeah. Anyway, um, mostly healed up. The troll also knocks people back, heroes specifically. Okay, Boromir. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, Boromir. Your death, All right. I don't Do mind it. Them. Hit them hard. Okay. Let yeah, stand. let him hit Aragorn. Okay. Again, I don't care which of them kills the fucking thing. I do hope it's gonna be both of them. Okay. Okay. Well, it was both of them. They both gained the uh, experience. There we go. Well, who to level up? 
now. Well, I think I'm gonna level up Gandalf a bit. Okay. Oh, that went better than expected, actually. Now, I could get it on... Either of them really doesn't honestly matter right now. Um, hmm. To get it on, though. Well, honestly... Ah, fuck it. Boromir can take more damage anyway, and Aragorn... Aragorn will always do, do more damage than Boromir. Boromir's just not a good hero, I hate to say it, because he is one of my favorite characters in the Lord of the Rings universe, but he's just not good, period. It's, there's no way around that um, fact, so yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, venture to the tomb of Balin and then pause this particular vi video. Okay, uh, actually, screw these two. Um, let's uh, take... Aragorn with the hot. Uh, sorry, Aragorn. I have no memory of this place. Gandalf with the hobbits. Maybe gain a level with him. On. Come on. Gandalf, watch out. They must Gandalf. be stopped. Somebody help me! Watch out, Gandalf! Gandalf! Send them back to the abyss! Frodo! The hobbits! Take that! They must be stopped! Okay. Well, I suppose I could... You can't actually rank heroes past... Um past rank 3 in this mission because otherwise the, you could just rank every fucking hero it would just rank Aragorn or uh, Gandalf to rank 5 for instance or rank 6 even that would be very powerful like at rank 5 he gains a starry light <laughs> um, so yeah just waiting for it he needs to regenerate some HP the old man can't take that much damage I hate to say it but it's actually a fact so it is what it is uh, I guess I could level one of the hobbits rather hmm. yeah though I'm not gonna get the fucking yes. hobbits that's gonna be rank free that would be j Does just silly and a waste you won't be sick of nobody! Not as easy as you think! You won't take me! Now this seems like a waste in my opinion, to be completely honest. To use this treasure on Gandalf, it just seems like a fucking waste, but... I have no other option, I guess I, guess I could use Legolas, but... Eh. Whatever. Might as well have Gandalf rank too. The hobbits, they will gain their ranks. As for Legolas, I still haven't unleashed the killing potential that he has. And even if I don't gain rank with him, I don't really give a shit. Considering how many units he'll kill later on in the campaign. Elm's Deep. Yeah, that's where it's gonna be. Anyway, uh, Christine here signing out. I know this was probably a very boring video, but it's the action is gonna increase by a substantial amount in the next one. Uh, you can also check damage here. Something I didn't show in like um, the evil campaign because you only have so few heroes, but you can see their damage. He has 60 range damage and 40 melee damage. Um, he switches to melee with the uh, knife fighter. Boromir has 45, Aragorn has 52. Gimli is insane. But Gimli does not, uh, neither, Gimli doesn't have the speed or, of Aragorn, uh, nor the knockback of Boromir. And he also doesn't have the auras that these two heroes have. Gandalf, uh, yeah, he's Gandalf, so he does 110 damage. 
Anyway, Costine here, signing out.